everyone, this is PhD Natural Me. Welcome back to my channel. I mentioned in the video about no bread. And for me, I do not eat a lot of bread type consistency foods. But someone mentioned on as a, a comment about microwave bread. And I tried it and my son really liked it. I don't do a lot of breads because breads in the past got me in a lot of trouble. If you always do what you've always done, you always get what you always got. And I got a lot of bread and I had a lot of fluff. So, oh, I'm down 30 pounds. I don't know if I told you that. I think I did. I did a quick video. But I am making microwave bread and it's really, really good and very simple. So all you need a ramekin and I already put a tablespoon of butter in here and I'm going to microwave that for about 30 seconds. Okay. One egg, a pinch of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. You just want your butter to be soft so that when you mix it it's um, it won't be clumpy. Okay, I'm going to tip this down so you can see. So I'll get the two tablespoons of almond flour. One. Egg. I do three turns of the salt, baking powder, half a teaspoon, and I just use this edge here, hopefully, and it just makes it nice. And then mix, mix, mix. I use a fork because it's easier to mix for me. Just like scramble my eggs. Do, 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 do. And if you want to use a, a spoon, that's fine. the melted butter just a little bit more but let's see what happens and you can add a little bit more butter to this and what I do at the end which is really cool I slice it up and I fry it in a pan with more butter okay this will go into the microwave for one minute thirty seconds Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's pretty soft. So reset that. One minute, 30 seconds. I'll be back. Okay, it's done. Take it out of the microwave. Okay, let me tip this down. So that's what it looks like coming out. I'm going to let it sit just for a moment. Okay, you can use a knife to kind of go around the edge. Butter knife. But so far I have made three and I haven't had any issues with it sticking. Okay. 
I actually like to use this plate because it has a little lip so when I slice through it it um, doesn't my hand doesn't get caught okay down we go again of course what I say doesn't get stuck <laughs> There we go. Spongy. And also if you use this type of a plate, it'll kind of release some of that heat. So when you slice it, it um, or put it on a paper towel, that helps. Okay, it's nice. Sorry for blocking the camera. One. And if you want to do two, you can. I do three. I feel like I'm eating more. That's a little piece there. <laughs> It'll still taste great. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple. Nice and bready. It will make these will make a decent sandwich when they cool. Sometimes it's hard to let it cool though. So I'll show you the finished product of what I did with it for breakfast. So that's it. Stay healthy. You can have some bread. Just a little bit. Remember, not too much. Watch those carbs. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're satisfied, drink when you're thirsty, no more than 20 total carbohydrates a day, and break up your carbs five to seven per each meal. Oh, this with the egg and the, the ingredients, it comes to three and a half total carbohydrates. So if you ate the whole thing, it's only three and a half, not bad at all. So you slice it up a little less than, a little more than one per uh, slice and this one I wouldn't even call <laughs> I wouldn't call that a, a total carb but it counts count everything stay healthy keep eating keto bye